Hello and welcome back to the Knowledge Catalog. Um, this time we are going to start our series on Earth and Space, Science. And so even though I know, even though first video ito dito sa playlist na to, this is actually technically the second video in the series. Um, yung first video sinama ko na lang siya dun sa latter part, sa pinaka last part ng uh, chemistry series. And if possible, I will be adding it na lang. Uh, to this playlist na lang para hindi rin hindi ka rin malito ayan so, okay so uh, ayan we are going to have the following parts for the session the first part is activity number 1 volcano concept map and then the second part is a discussion on active and inactive volcanoes and then the last part is activity number 2 volcanoes in the philippines all right, so um, this is going to tackle the second learning competency, which is differentiating between active and inactive volcanoes. It is uh, it has the following code, and if you want to follow through with some sort of a reading material, you can always open your learner's module to Unit Three, Module One, pages six to ten. All right, let's begin. Get your science notebook and uh, or an extra sheet of clean paper and uh, label it activity number one, volcano concept map. Uh, it has the following objective. Okay, so singular lang yan, uh, characterize a volcano. You will be needing the following materials, uh, paper, as I mentioned a while ago, pencil or pen or any writing instrument, and uh, pictures of volcanoes. And uh, yeah, pictures of volcanoes, I'll be showing them na lang to you. I have here uh, photos of volcanoes. Hi, once you're ready, let's proceed. Okay, so uh, I would like you to observe the following photos of volcanoes. Ayan. So this is the first, the photo to the left. Okay, is a volcano na, yeah, it is taken. Parang magna night time na, no? And it seems like it's the same volcano here, pero this one's taken during the daytime. Okay, take a moment, take your time, and um, just um, check them out. I observe them. One skill in uh, one skill a scientist must have is uh, you know the quality of of observations that he is doing. So look, uh, I mean a vision or looking, or your your sense of sight is uh, perhaps yung pinaka talagang magagamit mo in this activity. So take your moment. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Um. You note your observations. Uh, I hope you noted your observations. That's actually one more, one good stat study habit, right? Uh, taking notes. Note your observations. Um, before we leave this slide, I would like you to have um, some notes, okay, about your observations. Okay, and uh, once you're ready, let us proceed with the next part. I would like you to, based from your notes, um, write down five characteristics of volcanoes. And then you have to organize them into the following concept map. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> na una yung check. Okay, so this concept map is pretty simple. Um, as you can see, it's just uh, circular lang yung ano, yung mga, yung mga ginamit natin siya, mga circles lang sila. And then uh, at the center circle with blue is volcano, the word volcano. And what I would like you to put here sa mga circles na to are, the char are some characteristics of volcanoes. I hope you will be putting some original or some unique characteristics of volcanoes for each circle hindi yung uh, magkapareho lang yung sinasabi niya <laughs> okay tapos pinaghiwalay niyo pa sila okay so just uh, note down five unique characteristics of volcanoes in uh, five unique circles you can make this more creative pwede mo siyang going flower ay pwede mo siyang going sun it's up to you okay so i'll be giving a moment to finish your to to, to finish your concept maps Okay, if you have decided to continue, that means you're done. Are you done? Okay. Are you done with your concept map? Okay, if you are, then let us uh, proceed with the next part of this session. We're through with the first activity, activity one. Um, with the first part of the session, activity one, volcano concept map. Right, so if you are my student, um, I would like you to upload a copy of your concept map in Edmodo. I hope that uh, once you upload it, it's the final output na, okay? I hope that you already uh, expressed yourself, okay, in this activity. You can, you can be creative, okay? You can be creative. Let us proceed to the second part, which is um, a discussion about active and inactive volcanoes. Oh, I'm sorry. Nagin na una siya. Okay, so active and inactive volcanoes. 
Um, there are several ways w- in with which volcanoes can be classified, and the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or PHEVOLCS, is the one in charge of, uh, of classifying them, of monitoring them. Um, PHEVOLCS is an institute, it is um, an institution, and you can't, I can't really call it an agency, siguro an institution, under the Department of Science and Technology in the Philippines. Kaya nga, ayan, ganyan yung itsura ng kanyang logo. Uh, remember, the DOST's uh, institutions uh, usually are actually, tama ba? Most of them, if not all of them, they have this kind of logo na merong um, apat na circles. <clears throat> Ayan. Uh, so, they are in charge of uh, classifying them. And one way they can be classified is whether they are active or inactive. Now, how do they do that? Um, active, I mean, what are the characteristics ba of active volcanoes and inactive volcanoes? So, active volcanoes are volcanoes that uh, have uh, a record of eruption within the last 600 years or those that erupted at around 10,000 years ago uh, based on analysis of their materials. A record of eruption that is historical 600 years ago. And then, um, some, I mean, um, sometimes there may not be some uh, historical records, pero based from the analysis of materials, um, they have erupted in the last 10,000 years ago, so they can also be um, treated as active. Okay, so I hope na nagets nyo yun. Um, kasi there are historical records as in uh, tayong mga tao ang nag-keep ng record ng kanilang eruption. And if meron tayong record ng eruption nila for the last 600 years, active siya. Ngayon, kung wala naman, uh, tayong record, pwede rin natin gamitin yung mga materials na nag-extrude mula sa volcano. So, uh, syempre, malay mo, wala pa tayong technology in the, I mean, far beyond um, beyond 600 years. So, mga 10,000 years ago, if within that 10,000 year uh, period, meron tayong, meron silang nag-extrude ng mga materials na uh, nagpapatunay na kahit din natin na-observe, wala tayong historical record, nagpapatunay yung mga yon na meron siyang eruption na nangyari within 10,000 years ago, we can still continue, I mean, we can still uh, classify it as an active volcano. Okay. The next uh, classification of a volcano naman is an inactive volcano. Okay, so an inactive volcano are those that have not erupted uh, for the last 10,000 years based from the materials na in-extrude nila. And their physical form is being changed by agents of weathering and erosion through formation of deep and long gullies. So there is no proof of of uh, of explosion, uh, even sa mga materials na extrude na naka extrude uh, sa kanila yung mga rocks around them. Walang proof of uh, of eruption in the last even in the last ten thousand years. So we call these as inactive volcanoes. Ayun. Also, we can also consider uh, a volcano as inactive if it does not have a historical record. Okay, so in the last 600 years ago, in, in, the, in the last 600 years, wala siyang naging eruption historically, wala rin siyang naging eruption based sa mga uh, rock evidences, kung edi considered siya as inactive. Now, according to Fivox, our country, the Philippines, has more than 100 volcanoes as of 2013. And uh, 23 sa mga yon are active, while the rest are inactive. Of course, this number can change. Um, you know, ha- we all know how unpredictable nature can get. Uh, this number, 23, can become uh, higher. It can also become lower. Some of these volcanoes uh, are going to be mentioned in the next activity. Right, so, uh, speaking of that activity, this is activity number two. And it ha- we have the following objective. Objective lang ulit yan, it's singular. Okay, so classify volcanoes as active or inactive, and you will be needing the following materials. Uh, a sheet of paper or your notebook in science, and pencil or pen or any writing instrument. You have to label this uh, part of the session as activity number two, volcanoes in the Philippines. Okay, once you're ready, let's proceed. If you're ready, let us proceed now. Right, so I would like you to first analyze the following table. Um, when I tell you to analyze, analyze read the, the the table. A table is usually used to show con- contrast, to to process information automatically. So um, no matter I mean uh, I mean 
uh, it doesn't it doesn't usually uh just it doesn't have uh one a, a single purpose okay? it doesn't have a single purpose pwede siya mag compare pwede siya mag show ng contrast pwede siya mag show ng relationships ng iba pang relationships i mean uh, aside from comparing and contrast pwede chronology and so on and so forth okay? so for this uh, table i would like you to look at the relationship of the following factors so each column and the columns are entitled volcano, and then the second, I mean, the first column is entitled volcano, the second column is entitled number of historical eruptions, and the left column is entitled latest eruption or activity. So you know that this is only presenting you with the hard data. Again, so uh, I, would like you to, I would like you now to start analyzing the table. Okay, if you are through analyzing the table, let us now proceed uh, with the following guide questions. The first guide question is asking you which of the following of these volcanoes had the greatest number of eruptions? You may be a ramming number of eruptions. How about the least number of eruptions? How about uh, how about volcano or volcanoes with no records of eruptions? Okay, for the next question, question number two. How will you classify the volcanoes that have records of eruptions? What, what will you call them? Question number three. How will you classify volcanoes with no record of eruption? What will you call them? Andale, no? Okay. Question number four. Okay, sa sarili mong mga pananalita, in your own words. Um, ano yung pinagkaiba ng active volcano mula sa isang inactive volcano? Ano yung pinagkaiba nila? So, pwede kang, ano, pwede mo silang i-compare or i-contrast or, I mean, yeah, pwede mo silang i-differentiate uh, sa parameter na gusto mo. Okay, so is it about, are you, what are you going to think about? Is it their eruptions? Uh, is it in terms of their shapes? Because I think you have an idea that uh, these volcanoes have shapes. Finalize your answers. Let us now uh, proceed with checking your work. Okay, for the first uh, question, the answer, the acceptable answers are the following. Mayon Volcano has the greatest number of eruptions, while Iraya Volcano has the least one. Yung mga mountains naman, that, uh, such as Kabaluyan, Kokoro, Pulong, or Tapulong, Tamburok, and Urot, they do not have records of eruption. Ayan. So for question number two, um, you call those volcanoes na mayroong records of eruptions as active volcanoes. And uh, for question number three, you call uh, volcanoes with no record of eruption as inactive volcanoes. So um, I hope medyo nag-grasp niyo na yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang yan. And that uh, nag-gets niyo rin na hindi natin sinasama yung dormant no? as a classification. I mean, for the purpose of this discussion, hindi natin, natin siya sinama. Because um, look, if you look at the learning competency set by the Department of Education, uh, it's specifically asking lang uh, for you to know the difference between active and inactive volcanoes. Okay, so question number four no man is uh, active volcanoes are those that have records of eruption or have erupted recently, while inactive volcanoes are those that show no record of eruption. Now, if your answer is close to this answer, we accept that, of course. Just make sure that uh, the important uh, no, contents of, of, these, of this answer are present in your answer. Okay. Now, uh, that ends activity number two, Volcanoes in the Philippines. And it also ends uh, the, this session. So you're through uh, with activity number one, Volcano Concept Map. You're also through with the discussion on active and inactive volcanoes. And you are also done with uh, discussing with I mean with the activity number two, uh, volcanoes in the Philippines. Uh, though I was not able to change uh, the you know, the learning competency here, I hope that you remember that you are supposed to master uh, differentiating volcanoes into active and inactive one. Uh, this is the knowledge catalog, Earth and Space Science for Grade Nine, and this is Sir CJ. 
Um, I hope that uh, you learned something in this video and that I'll see you in the next video in this series. Have a good day.